WooCommerce has always had this type of account page where it's not the best looking account, but it gets the job done for what needs to happen. Now, there's no official way to change the way that this looks. This is basically what you're stuck with unless your theme has built something uh, specifically compatible for this WooCommerce account page. But in this video, we're gonna show you how to edit this page with Elementor and very, very minimal uh, CSS knowledge. I want to give a shout out thanks to Jason Black Eye for the inspiration for this because this is what his account page is looking like. And he is um, he's uh, unable to make a video for this. So I wanted to go ahead and do this uh, just so that everyone who's following on this thread can uh, figure out how to customize their account page. Now we're not gonna make it look exactly like his, we're going to make it look a little bit different, but we will show you how to make your uh, account page go from looking like this to looking something like this. Now this is a lot better looking than something along the lines of this just because this is a little bit bland and we're going to make it look a little bit something like this. Now you're not going to have everything that I have such as my favorites or following or RMA requests or tickets. Um, I have a I have a couple of plugins installed that uh, extend the functionality of WooCommerce. So you'll have the majority of these things like dashboard orders, addresses, my orders, things like that. But you'll get the, uh, you'll understand of what uh, you can do with your WooCommerce uh, website. So this is how we're going to start out. I'm in my Elementor page builder right now. And all I've done right now is enter the WooCommerce My Account shortcode inside of a shortcode. Um, section uh, widget right here and we're going to modify this so that we're going to hide this section over here on the left so I'm going to command right click and click inspect and I'm going to enter this code into the uh, description for you guys so you don't have to do this yourself but this is a great way for you to learn CSS if you see right here we have the my account navigation class and then each one of these is its own separate uh, link that we or uh, class that we can target if we wanted to style it differently. But we're going to take this entire class, copy this. I'm going to go into the CSS just on this page, but normally I put it into the customizer or my own style sheet. We're going to make sure we put a period first and paste. And we're going to put our brackets and we're going to put display none. Now that has been hidden, but now we want to make it so that this content is full width because right now we have a left and a right. So we have these two sections. We want to take this content, copy that class and put width 100% and then I'm going to add my important tag. So right now we have a full width look for the uh, for our account page and like I said, we're going to make it look something like this. So Right now we're going to add a, a section above split this off into four I'm going to I'm going to then add maybe an image Right here. I'm sorry. Let's do an intersection and then add an image we're going to make this dynamic author profile field. We're going to, I'm just going to use uh, full just because I like to have my full resolution. And then let me get rid of this. Sorry about that. We're going to do a border. We're going to do a three pixel border with a specific color for this theme. And then we're going to put a 50% radius to make it a circle. So now that we've got that, I want to add a background to this column. So let's go ahead and add our background. Let's get rid of the margin for this intersection. And I'm going to add a heading. And this is going to be dynamic as well. We're going to choose user info. Click on this again, and we're going to choose first name. And then we're going to put hello beforehand and after we'll put a comma. Our fallback will be hello customer in case they don't put a first name. 
Let's widen this a little bit so it's all on one line. I like to make my percentages even. We're going to adjust this so that everything is in the middle. And we're going to actually give it a little bit more room. We're going to make these columns even over here. So we have, uh, let's see, we have this 41%. So we want to go ahead and make these over here. From there, we can add this to make this left aligned. Make this smaller. Very OCD about my sizes. So uh, let's do this. And then we'll make this right there we'll add a nice border radius of 20 pixels to this just so it gives a little bit of look we're going to do the icon box we're going to choose an icon and right now uh, we could just do a box for my orders we're gonna put my orders you can put a description if you want to, and if not, that's fine. We're going to icon position at the top. Style is going to be left aligned. Let's get rid of some of the spacing. Let's choose the size for our icon. All right, so we've got that here. We're going to make this so that all of this is vertically aligned in the middle. We're going to duplicate this, put this over here, duplicate that, put that over here. All right, so now we can actually go in and do a couple of other things. If we want to do maybe your address. And then I'm going to show you guys how to link this to as well. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Let's just do these two for now. So we're going to do this. We have this at 22%. And then we have this one at 22% as well. So we have that over here. Uh, you guys can, of course, adjust the style up here if you want to. We're just going to leave it as is for right now. All right, so we have all of this. We have the my orders, we have the edit address. Let's do the the bar at the top, this bar right here. Let's do that right now. We'll add a section above. We'll do this. We can we do this two ways. You can either use buttons or you can use a navigation. Either one is gonna work fine. Um, for right now, just for the sake of video, I'm just gonna use buttons. We'll add a button. This one's going to be just dashboard. Make that full width. This one's going to be orders, just in case they want to get to it from somewhere else. We'll do this one as addresses. And I'm going to use some of the endpoints that I have, just because we want to see this as a functioning uh, my account page all right let's add a background color to this we're gonna add some margins to this one there we go we've got this looking pretty good I'm gonna add a new column put this over here and just make this look a little bit better. So we've got something like that. There we go. So in order to make this actually functioning to where you can click on this and it would go to other places, you have to know about the WooCommerce endpoints. So here are some of the WooCommerce endpoints that this is the ones that everyone's going to have on their, on their website. Orders, view order, downloads, edit account, all of that. So 
this is what's going to come after the my account URL. So right now the my account is under is under my hyphen account is what the endpoint for this for this is. Let me show you on this page. So if you look up here, it's the my account. And if you click on any of these other ones, it's going to put my account forward slash orders. Okay. So while using that and knowing that information, we can go to the link section of the my orders button, type in the my account, and then at the very end, we can just add orders. Plural. Okay. We're going to copy that and we're going to go to paste and we're going to go to the address one. And if we go back here, it's edit hyphen I address. So if we do the my account, edit hyphen address. And then we have the same thing up here. So this one for the dashboard, it's just going to be my account for the orders. We're going to make that the forward slash orders addresses edit hyphen address. Uh, our main request for me is um, like I said, something that's specific for a plugin I have installed, so it's going to be forward slash RMA requests. And then the same thing for tickets, it's going to be forward slash support tickets. So we have our account page built out right now. We can go and update this. Let's view the page. And let's navigate off the page just so you guys can see. So we have our home page here. And if we go to the My Account, this is for all of our customers, it's going to look something like this. Now if we click on My Orders, it'll load to your orders. I don't have any orders. If we go to Address, it'll load all of our billing and shipping address. If we go to the RMA requests, then it will load all of that for this plugin. And same thing with tickets. So no tickets found because I don't have any tickets. Um, so this is how you can customize the My Account page for WooCommerce. All of this is completely with Elementor. I had just a couple lines of CSS that hid the natural menu and made the, the account go full width. But other than that, everything has been done with uh, CSS, uh, Elementor. We're go I'm going to add this code into the description below just so you guys can see it. But I would suggest learning how to do what we just did. So otherwise it would look something like this is how it would look. But we want to get rid of this navigation on the side and use our own navigation. So we have it up here like this. Now the other way you can do this is if you have a section up here and you use one column and you use the nav menu widget and then you make this be the if you go into your appearance and then menus you can add a new menu call this dashboard and look down here at the bottom you have all of your WooCommerce endpoints right here all ready to go so you can add all of this just like so, hit save menu. Let's refresh this page. And then we have our dashboard menu. So now we have all of our dashboard menu up here. It's gonna be a native menu. We can style this just like any other menu from Elementor. And we can get rid of this one up here. If we want to style this so we have it being white, when we hover, we make this black. So we have all of this just like that up there. We can make it so that it stretches across. And of course, when we go to mobile, it will switch over to the toggle menu. So that's this is completely up to you if you guys wanted to do it that way. Um, this is easier to manage. If you wanted to ever change the menus, all you would have to do it from here. But you have all of this section up here. Very easy to manage. All completely mobile friendly. So we have all of this being mobile friendly. If I switch over. And you can see that this is all mobile friendly here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you would like to. 
make page of your account page with Elementor and post it with us and let us know what it looks like and we will uh, be happy to let you know if we if you guys need any help you can always comment on the um, video and then you can always let us know on Facebook if you have any questions as well I'll post this video in the link just so that uh, you guys can see it underneath of this thread right here hope you guys have a great day thanks